Hello, welcome back to Get Well Soon, the red pill content of Willie F, a.k.a. Moriarty, where the mindset is, you either die a villain or you live long enough to see yourself become a simp. By now, you're probably in a city where the toilet paper is off the shelves and the stores are implementing limits on different goods. Schools are shut down for at least two weeks minimum. Sporting events are shut down. You're probably even in a city where traffic is unusually light. You also probably have no idea if you have the virus yourself or not. Is the virus real or is it a distraction? What do you think? I mean, does it matter at this point? Globally, people are being told to quarantine themselves. I don't know about Russia. (laughs) Russia has been quiet. Or maybe I just missed any news regarding Russia. I don't know. Putin is a different breed. His people are a different breed. But I do know one thing. Different politicians are using this to push their own ideals and agendas. Andrew Yang is using this as a way to push his universal basic income. Trump derangement syndrome is at an all-time high. I mean, this is the perfect time for people to look at Trump and be like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Trump? Orange man, what are you going to do? People are searching Wikipedia to compare notes about other viruses and pandemics that have plagued the United States or even globally. A lot of people are retweeting the same memes and regurgitating the same information. They haven't fact-checked for the sake of being woke. What does all this mean? What's the biggest picture? What is the bigger picture? Is this the beginning of another shift in culture? Is this going to bring some sort of massive global change to humanity? Or are we just seeing a beta version of martial law? Who knows? What I do know is social media has mutated into something as dangerous as this quote-unquote coronavirus. Okay, now I'm about to challenge you to think. Do you really have any real evidence that this is really real? Or is it just information being spread by people you never met? Understand something. I'm not saying that it isn't real. I'm asking you to ask yourself, have you sat back and really thought about your fear of this pandemic? When crack hit in the 80s, your mom and dad felt that shit. You feel that shit. You still do. It got to the point where shit, we can can honestly say crack is normalized. Cocaine is normalized. It's a freaking party drug almost. When meth hit the suburbs, they felt that. They still felt feel it and they make great TV shows about it when the opioid crisis evolved to what it is now <laughs> we feel in that we feel in that major corporations are being taken down for their exploitation of opioids we see in it We know people that have experienced barbiturate addictions, all kinds of stuff. That hits close to home. When something 
as greatly feared as this coronavirus is feared in the way that it's feared, but you don't even have any real proof of it? You don't even bother to question it? Once again, I'm not saying it isn't real. I'm just asking a common sense question. Y'all know people with STDs. I know y'all do. You know when AIDS got big in the 60s and 70s, that shit was no joke. It hit close to home because it was real and in living color. People in the black community felt that shit. They knew it was real and in living color. And when Magic Johnson announced he had HIV, it was real. And when Easy e died of HIV, uh, AIDS, it was real. Now, once again, we could be seeing something similar because NBA stars and celebrities are saying that they got it. But once again, we know it's certain people that live a certain type of lifestyle that get AIDS or HIV. But once again, we still have proof of it because a lot of us have family members that have HIV or AIDS. And once again, STDs, if you want to think about it, STDs are high. The rate of STD contraction is high. Just understand that. You know somebody that had the flu. (laughs) You probably had the flu before. (laughs) You know where I'm going with this. At the end of the day, I can give you facts about influenza, Zika, Ebola, Finnish flu, suicide, abortion, mass shootings. What does any of it mean? The great plague of 2020, is it the virus or is it information? Think about it. Until we meet again.